The Workspace Manager template designer has buttons to allow users to add any type of structure to a Workspace Manager template from a My Matters container, categories, workspace, tabs, folders, and searches. Any structure within a Workspace template can also be modified or deleted. We also have the ability to cut, copy, and paste structures between an individual Workspace template or between other templates within the same job. The up and down arrows can also be used to move objects up and down within the same hierarchical level of a Workspace Manager template. To move a structure from one level to a template to another, use the cut and paste options to cut the object from one particular level and paste it into a different level. Workspace Manager templates can consist of many different types of objects, including My Matters objects, categories, the workspace, folders, searches, and tabs within a workspace. Every Workspace Manager template must include one and only one workspace. All other structures are optional. The My Matters container within a Workspace Manager template can contain specific information about a My Matters container for a particular user. The My Matters container has properties, security, and subscription information that is used to push a subscription from one user to another user's My Matters container. The properties of a My Matters con container include its name and a description. Note that any value within a Workspace Manager template item can be hard-coded simply by typing the text within the value field, or the data source selector can be used to switch to different data sources that have been defined within a job, and all of the fields that are coming directly out of the input query for that job are available to specify that value. Note also that all of the translated values for each data field coming out of an input query also appear within the data selector. V underscore values are straight translated values, O underscore values are owner translated values, and T underscore values are template translated values that use the equivalents coming out of the translation matrix within Workspace Manager. To use a specific data value coming out of a field or a translated value, simply copy that field by right-clicking on it and choosing copy, then paste that into the specific field where it is desired within any object, within any template, within the Workspace Manager job. Note that the format is in a particular style of the data source DSN, database name, and then the specific field value coming out of the input query. It is also possible to do control double click to simply insert the value within whatever field that has the cursor highlighted within it within the job. This makes it very fast and easy to rapidly push values into specific fields when creating and defining Workspace Manager templates. Worksite has the ability to allow users to build My Matters containers that have organized structures of categories and within the categories shortcuts to individual workspaces. My Matters containers can only contain categories or shortcuts to workspaces as opposed to the My Favorites container which can contain shortcuts to any types of structures or documents within Worksite. Doc Auto's Workspace Manager application only works with manipulations to the My Matters container because the My Matters container is the only part of the Worksite interface that can be shared between users. The process of sharing My Matters containers between users is referred to as subscriptions. Workspace Manager has the ability within the My Matters container to control which users or groups are subscribed to another particular user's My Matters container. The My Matters container to which the other user subscribed is defined within this field where a specific worksite user can be defined or a dynamic data value can be used to resolve whose My Matters container we're referring to. In this example, within my corporate template, I can hard code the corporate template user 
as the My Matters container that I want to control, or because that may also correspond to a dynamic data value, I can also use a dynamic data value coming from one of my queries that are driving the Workspace Manager job. This value will determine the owner and whose My Matters container I am going to push the subscriptions to. These individual users that I define both as a hard-coded user, a group, or as a dynamic list of users either coming directly from a Workspace Manager query or again a secondary query will determine which users get pushed a subscription to this user's My Matters container. Note that Workspace Manager also has the ability to control unsubscriptions from one user to another, but due to issues with the Worksite APIs, that has not been implemented. Categories are special purpose folders that can exist in the My Matters container for organizing other categories or shortcuts directly to specific workspaces. Workspace Manager has the ability within a template to define category structures any number of levels deep. Each individual category will have its own specific properties. Note that the name and description values can be resolved either using specific data values or by using built-in variables such as the alphanumeric sorting variable that is defined within the template properties special tab. Security values can also be defined using the normal security processes as previously mentioned in other videos. Note that categories have the ability to inherit security from their parent category or the My Matters container where they exist. Categories can also be matched if we're updating using the project ID value that is coming directly from the worksite database for a category that already exists. This capability can be used to match an existing category to change both its name and description simultaneously. Note that categories also have their own zone control. With the sub option here, if we're deleting all child structures regardless of owner, to also delete this category and all child structures underneath it as a way of defining targeted deletion for a specific category. Any object within the Workspace Manager Template Designer interface that uses this type of targeted deletion will appear with a red X on it within the Template Designer interface. The main component of every Workspace Manager template is the Workspace object itself. The Workspace object contains properties, security, profile values, publishing settings, and aging settings used to copy or move workspaces from one database to another. The properties of a workspace include its name, which can be dynamically constructed using metadata values returned by queries, description. The owner of a workspace is also a very important value that determines many aspects of how the workspace is managed and how it will evolve over its lifespan. Doc Auto recommends the use of virtual or pseudo users to own workspaces. Generally, these users will correspond to the matter type or template being used to create or design the workspace. The owner for a workspace can be defined in a number of different ways. By default, all of the logins that have been defined within the Workspace Manager job properties are available within the pull down list of owner options. The owner can also be looked up directly from the Worksite database and specified using a hard-coded value directly from the Worksite database. We can also use a data value directly from a Workspace Manager input query or, as has been shown within the translation interface, an owner translated value that will convert a data value to a Worksite user that is appropriate for owner values. Workspace Manager can create the owner account on the fly. These settings are configured within the Workspace Manager job properties. All of the necessary and required attributes for the user account must be specified within that interface to allow for successful creation of new user accounts within the Worksite interface. The destination for the workspace is also very important. The owner's primary or preferred database can be specified 
but if this information is not properly configured within the worksite interface, problems may arise for users that have no primary database defined or multiple primary databases defined. For this reason, Doc Auto generally recommends using a hard-coded specific database as the target database for a workspace. This database can be specified using the database name in a single server environment or the server and a colon and the database name. Note that if Worksite Explorer is enabled, the database can be selected directly from within that interface. Project ID is available for workspaces and other structures within Workspace Manager templates. This value can only be used for matching to existing workspaces for updating purposes only. Zone control settings are the same as within all other structures within Workspace Manager templates. Although deletion of workspaces is not performed within targeted deletion of zone control, deletion of workspaces is only performed as a sub-option of the aging operation. Again, zone control is used to remove ad hoc structures or structures that have been created by users within the root of the workspace. If the owner is or is not a particular person, for example, if the owner is not the responsible attorney or the owner is not a member of a list of users who has some specific rights or has perhaps billed time against the matter for that particular workspace, or if the owner of the structure is not a member of an approved group within the worksite database. Zone control is completely independent of security settings and can remove structures even for users that have full access or users that are members of the NRT admin group. As within other structures within templates within the workspace, the content of a workspace can be declared as a record or in worksite 8.5 and later environments content within the workspace can be attempted to be undeclared if desired. A unique capability within Doc Auto's Workspace Manager application is the ability to distribute workspaces either directly to the root of a user's My Matters container or within categories using what we call the publishing capabilities of Workspace Manager. Publishing is in itself broken down into two different types of operations. The standard or workspace template categories are the category structures and My Matters container within the template itself. The standard publishing process will target an individual user's My Matters container, create or match to these existing categories if necessary, modify their security using the settings defined on these specific template objects, perform subscription management if a My Matters container exists within the template, and other operations specific to these types of structures. This publishing process can be performed for any combination of users and groups. Special publishing uses a dynamically created category name, which is optional. If there is no category name, then the shortcut to the workspace will be created in the root of the My Matters container of any user or group member specified within the special publishing interface. If a category name is defined, then that category will be created in those users' My Matters containers, and they will have full ownership and access rights to that category. That is the important distinguishing factor between special publishing and standard publishing. Special categories can only be one level deep and will always have the same ownership rights and privileges as a category that a user creates themselves within their own My Matters container. Standard or Workspace Manager template categories can be any number of levels deep, can have their own security, and can also include a My Matters container, which is where subscription management is performed. When performing publishing or defining publishing operations, it is also possible to apply aging rules to specific users as part of the publishing process. If aging is applied for a specific user or members of a group within the publishing process, then the aging operation will occur as part of the workspace manager processing. Aging is mentioned in additional videos. 
Finally, the publishing process in Workspace Manager has the ability to perform simple maintenance operations on individual users' My Matters containers. For example, the ability to delete orphan shortcuts found during publishing in the same category. So if Workspace Manager is creating a shortcut to a particular workspace within a specific category, this option will analyze all other shortcuts within that category and remove any shortcuts that point to invalid objects as part of that process. On a larger scale, we can perform exhaustive analysis of a user's My Matters container and remove all, short, all orphan shortcuts as part of the publishing process. This is a very convenient way to remove shortcuts in any user's My Matters container, regardless of where they may exist, that point to workspaces that are no longer accessible or no longer exist within the worksite database. This option may be more time consuming than the simple uh, orphan cleanup operation in the same category, so it is recommended that this operation be performed on a more limited schedule than more targeted orphan cleanup. Additionally, as part of these cleanup operations, Workspace Manager can remove empty categories to further perform cleanup operation, uh, operations on users' My Matters containers, and also to move workspace sh shortcuts where alphabetical sorting is used to determine which category a workspace should be in. If the name or first letter of the workspace changes, which may indicate that the workspace should move from one category to another, this option will automatically remove the workspace shortcut from the original category while at the same time moving the shortcut to the new correct category based on the name change of the workspace. Within workspaces, Workspace Manager has the ability to define tabs. Tabs are special purpose organizational structures within workspaces that have name and description information and security. Note that tabs have the ability to inherit security from the workspace. Tabs can only exist at the root level of a workspace. Tabs cannot exist underneath other tabs, folders, or searches. Tabs, in addition to their properties, also have zone control, including the ability to do targeted deletion of a tab, and also the ability to declare all of the content in all of the structures underneath this tab as records, or to undeclare all of the content underneath this tab and all of its structure as records. Note that the undeclare functionality is only available in Worksite versions 8.5 and later. The reason why this is captioned as attempt to undeclare is that the ability to undeclare records will depend on the server side settings for records management within the Worksite interface. Workspaces may contain folders, which are the actual containers for documents within the Worksite interface. No other structure within Worksite can actually contain documents. Folders have similar metadata values to all other structures, including the name and description. Folders can also contain an email address that is used to route content directly to the folder as part of the Worksite email management system. The email address can be built using multiple field values from the Workspace Manager data interface in addition to manually typed values as well. Note that the email address should not include the at sign or the domain. These settings are controlled directly on the Worksite server. Folders also contain zone control like other Workspace Manager template structures including the ability to do targeted deletion on a specific folder and the ability to declare, and in Worksite 8.5, the ability to attempt to undeclare any content within the folder as a record. Folders contain security configuration settings, the same as all other structures within Workspace Manager templates, and the ability to set profile values. Profile values are important to set on every folder so that folders have content automatically Profile values are important to set on every folder so that when content is added to a specific folder, it automatically gets the correct profile metadata assigned to it. Any metadata value that can be assigned normally within Worksite can also be assigned or manipulated within Workspace Manager on specific folders. 
Generally, client matter information or other unique metadata is set on the folder. Then additionally, the class, or as sometimes referred to, document type information is highly recommended to be set on each individual folder within Worksite, except for general purpose or catch-all folders that generally may not have a document class assigned to them. Class values and other values can be looked up directly from the Worksite lookup tables so that they have the correct value assigned to them. Addition, additional metadata values can be added to folders at any given time, either when they're created or as part of the modification process. These values also can be looked up directly from the worksite tables and specified and added to the structures in, in the Workspace Manager template folders. Note that the ability to remove profile metadata values is also optional within the Workspace Manager folder. Folders can be allowed to contain additional metadata values other than the ones defined below if users are allowed or permitted to add metadata values to folders on an ad hoc basis. If the Remove Profile Metadata Values box is checked, then any profile metadata value on the folder that is not explicitly defined within the folder object in Workspace Manager will be removed as part of the updating process for that folder. Workspace Manager has the ability to define searches or document searches within a workspace or at any level within a workspace under other tabs, folders, or searches. Workspace Manager searches or search folders again have properties, description values, zone control values, including the ability to do targeted deletion of specific searches, the ability to declare or in a Worksite 8.5 environment undeclare as records the content returned by a search, security values which are again the same as the security values on all other structures and again because searches are always a child of a workspace the ability to inherit security from their parent workspace or any parent structures and then the search parameters. Search parameters are unique to searches and can be defined in a number of different ways. Any profile metadata value can be defined as a search parameter, but searches can also have special purpose search parameters including scope values which will determine the scope of the structural uh, range of the search within the workspace interface including all databases, this workspace which will restrict the search to the contents of this workspace, this tab, my parent folder if the search is underneath another folder, or one or more specific name databases separated by commas. It is also possible to add a return value of include or exclude to include or exclude email messages as content. If this parameter is omitted, then all content, whether it's email or non-email type content, will be returned as the mixed results of a search. Searches can contain very detailed information about document number, create dates, edit dates, full text searches which will default to anywhere within the document profile, comments, or contents of the documents themselves. Additional filter values can be specified when defining full text searches to look for content only within the body of documents, within the description, comments fields on the document profile, or other ranges. Searches can also be defined to isolate content that is declared as a record within the worksite interface. Note that with all other regular metadata values within the workspace or worksite search, values are specified using either hard-coded values directly from the worksite interface or by using dynamic data-driven values that are coming out of the Workspace Manager data sources.